Hello everyone, today I'm doing a quick unboxing on the Cooler Master Gemin 2 M4. It's a low profile uh, CPU cooler. Uh, it has a slim 120mm uh, uh, fan and it has uh, four cooling pipes, 6mm uh, if I'm not mistaken in diameter. And uh, this CPU cooler is basically uh, a nice decent uh, for HTPCs and other low profile type of uh, uh, form factor PC towers and I recently got this uh, cooler for for my upgrade for my new uh, project I plan on doing and I just want to unbox it for you I have recently unboxed it in the store so that's why I took the tape off but just to take a look at it um, this is how it comes in the package let's take this out quick hopefully it's not upside down okay so it comes with the kit for the AMD sockets and uh, Intel uh, LGA sockets let's put this aside here let's put this box aside and it comes like this pretty much uh, this is the instructions and it also comes with a uh, thermal grease so that's pretty cool and here it is the fan don't worry about that. That's a uh, moisture, or one of those moisture things that absorbs. And these are the heat fins, heat fins, or the pipes. There's four of them touching. That's not bad. All right. So let's take a closer look at it. All right. Here I have the Gemin Two and Four, and I want to give you the quick dimensions on it. Um, here I have. Uh, 12 centimeters which is 120 millimeters also 12 centimeters which is also the same as 120 millimeters and here somewhat in height we can take a quick look at it sorry it's a little bit difficult it's let me see it's six centimeters which is uh, 60 millimeters almost a little a little over actually but um those are the quick dimensions on that and I chose this uh, CPU cooler because the dimensions on it uh, is pretty good for a mini ITX build or HTC uh, HT uh, PC build and I can show you the dimensions on it real quick here I have a mini ITX uh, board with uh, LGA 1151 in a dim uh, memory dim installed with standard height pretty much and here we can see how much it covers on this board and it's, it's a pretty small board so so it covers it goes over the dim slots pretty good and we'll take a closer look in a second from the side so it's not bad All right, here we can see uh, somewhat the relative uh, size from the side. I haven't installed it, I just roughly have it over the socket. Um, so we can see here how it, you know, goes over the fan, uh, the RAM, sorry. And it's just a rough uh, overview on this. and. Um, it's pretty decent size. Uh, this fan is actually have a couple of dimensions. Let me put this to the side. Uh, um, this comes off the fan, and maybe you can have a closer look at it how it comes off. But as for heat pipes, it's pretty decent size. Um, I had good reviews online. Let me take this off real quick. Hopefully, it slides off. Let me see. Here we go. Uh, Seems a decent sized fan. Actually, it's a, I think a 120 millimeter fan. Low profile, about a half inch, give or take. Uh, here I have the fans. Just wanted you guys to get a quick overview on the on the cooler. So, you know, it's pretty decent size. And um, I'm not sure on a TDP, maybe 95 watts. Uh, without overclocking, it's not a perfect overclocker, but these are the brackets they bring. 
All right, here I have the mounts that comes with the from the Intel and AMD mounts. Uh, here's the 1151 uh, socket mounts, and also here it comes with the tools that you need. For the most part, I think you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver or a flathead, but pretty much. These are the other components besides the mini ITX motherboard that doesn't come with it. Just uh, these right here. Don't worry about this. This is to install the fan. Uh, but yeah, it brings a lot for what it is. Um, it's pretty cool.